My name is William Shatner, and I was a starship captain. But I wasn't the only one. So were Patrick Stewart, Avery Brooks, Kate Mulgrew, Scott Bakula, and most recently, Chris Pye. That's a lot of captains. In fact, that's a lot of Star Trek. Captains is a 2011 documentary written and directed by William Shatner. In a nutshell, it involves the man who played Captain Kirk jumping on a private jet and travelling to various locations in the UK, Canada and the United States with a view to meeting the men and women behind some of Star Trek's most beloved and important characters. It also includes footage of Shatner wandering around and interacting with Star Trek fans at a Star Trek convention in Las Vegas. The bulk of the film consists of interviews with each of the actors who played the titular captains and involves Bill delving into the lives of each of his spacefaring colleagues and their careers leading up to their participation in the franchise. It's a rare, interesting and often entertaining look into the lives, careers and motivations of the actors who created the screen personas of those beloved characters. Unfortunately, it also suffers from several issues, including poor editing, a slight lack of focus and I'm sorry to say, William Shatner himself. Now I'm aware that Bill has had his fair share of issues with the rest of the cast of Star Trek and that George Takai generally despises him, but he gives a good account of himself here despite this documentary clearly being a vanity project. Now this isn't a huge problem, but what I will say is that he should in no way consider ever hosting a talk show since his interviewing technique stinks. I get the feeling that his intention here was to make the whole process look unplugged with a relaxed conversational tone, but unfortunately it leaves the other actors grossly unprepared for what's to come. This results in stuttering and often awkward interview sessions where contributors are left pausing for long periods while they register an adequate response. I have to ask myself why these long periods of silence and looks of general confusion were left in the final cut, since they break up the pace and generally remove any rhythm from the interviews. Bill also has a frustrating habit of putting words into others' mouths while making assumptions about them and their motivations despite the fact that he has presumably only met them socially on a few occasions. This is no more evident than in one scene where Kate Mulgrew literally looks ready to strangle him. She does get her own back later though. My other issue with the structure of the film is it involves a couple of long periods of self-indulgent soliloquising from Bill. The hardest stomach of these sequences is towards the end where Sir Patrick Stewart looks positively bemused as Bill tells him what a great job he did on TNG by talking about himself for several minutes. Thus far my impressions have been resoundingly negative, but I'm going to be honest with you, I did really enjoy The Captains despite its negative qualities. As previously stated, it gives an interesting insight into these people with some nice contributions from fellow cast members such as Jonathan Frakes, Nana Visitor, Rene Aubergenois, Robert Picardo and Connor Trinier. There is also a brief and enlightening sequence where Bill interviews General Chang himself, Christopher Plummer, who was instrumental in the young actor's early career. Each of the individual captains has an interesting story to tell, for the most part, with my favourites just happening to be my favourite actors of the six, Patrick Stewart and Kate Mulgrew, who do spill some of the private beans about the effect their dedication to their acting careers has had on their personal lives. Special mention must also go to the man who played my favourite captain, Benjamin Sisko. Avery Brooks is batshit crazy and by far the most individually entertaining of the six, but probably the hardest to interview. He says little that makes a shred of sense and despite coming across as a deeply spiritual and very nice bloke, obviously has a little too much of the spirit of jazz in him. Um, I'm doing a, a documentary called The Captains. Avery Brooks, what a great guy. But he's kind of out there. <laughs> I'm also going to go out and live here by admitting I'm a bit soft on the branch despite his failings. I was particularly enamored with the very pleasant yeah, and very talented much. Scott Not Butler, as much who had his interviews with Bill to be the least difficult to watch. The film also sees Bill have some genuine and often funny moments with his fellow captains, from attempting to teach Scott Bakula to ride a horse to having an arm wrestling competition with Chris Pine outside the Paramount lot in Los Angeles, his charisma and sense of humour nicely offsetting the often shameless ego trip. The biggest revelation from the film, however, is the wonderful but slightly forced bromance between Sir Patrick Stewart and William Shatner. They obviously have bags of mutual respect for each other, and Sir Patrick's surprise appearance at the convention sends the crowd absolutely wild. The downside of this whole issue is that it's quite possibly added fuel to a fire of disturbing erotic fan fiction that is probably already prevalent somewhere on the internet. My final impression of The Captains is that it is an impressive, if flawed, look at the actors responsible for headlining the television series and movies that we have all been so invested in for so long. William Shatner's journey of discovery that forms the overriding theme of the film, while more important to him than the viewer, is still worth beholding if only to see the process that led the man to finally come to terms with his role as Captain Kirk.